Hey, what's happening, guys? I don't know if you remember or not, but back in the end of November, we started this project, which was to create a little headphone amp, and we had to start with the, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was drawing there. We had to start with the front panel. So it comes out looking like this, and then I remembered after everything was done, I'm like, oh, what's the one thing I forgot? I forgot to put a volume on it. Luckily, I say, I say, luckily, I left an extra connection when I designed the thing so that there's room that we can add a volume on. And well, that's what I'm going to do today. We have version two. Let's uh, go take a look at it. What do you say? Pardon the vacuum cleaner in the background. All right, so here is the new diagram. We have the signal coming in with the tip line which is the actual signal coming to pin one and the ground goes to pin eight. We have our power switch here and it goes to pin three and four and now we have our volume potentiometer that goes to five, six and eight which is our shared ground. We have our power LED going between what eight and seven and finally we have our signal out which comes between pins two and eight here's my idea we have uh, about 90 millimeters wide 40 millimeters high that's going to fit you know with our main board we have our signal in on the left side signal in on the right side power and indicator and our new volume potentiometer so i'm going to order these right so i'm going to order these boards from pcb way pcb way as you know is a major sponsor of this channel and they do excellent work so to order your boards it's pretty much as simple as this you're going to click pcb instant quote we're going to add our gerber I have to actually find it. There we go. We get a rendering of it sometimes. Sometimes the rendering doesn't work, but I have never encountered a problem where the rendering didn't work and I couldn't, uh, you know, it didn't print everything correctly. It prints everything correctly. So single pieces, one in the design, 90 by 40. Uh, five is the minimum. That's all I need. Standard a fiberglass board, standard 1.6 thickness. Minimum hole size. This is their standard uh, 0.3, 6 upon 6 for the uh, track spacing. Solder mask. I like black for this stuff. White. No edge connector. Uh, the hassle, the, lead, the tin with lead is fine. Click here in case I got any extra gold they're giving away. <laughs> Standard on the uh, one ounce copper, and you can click here if you don't want an uh, identification number on the board. It, it doesn't bother me. All you have to do after that is come over here and choose how you want it shipped, and you'll get your boards in just about a week. All right, so we got the boards back. In record time, I would say, for ordering something like uh, right after Christmas. Man, these came in fast. But, you know, they will be going on their Lunar New Year holiday here. So, okay, so there's the boards. There's really not a lot of, uh, <laughs> not a lot of solder going on for this stuff today. But we'll get it done. And we'll see how it works out. So... I guess we'll go left to right. I have one jack left. Time to reorder quarter inch mono jacks. I go through a bit of these. Ah, uh, yes. 
that. I like a nice fit. And if you know anything about me, you know what a miracle it is when I get one. Somebody had mentioned, I'm sure a bunch of you had mentioned, about printing out my board files before I sent them in. And I found out I can't actually do that in the software. It's under export. So that may make things quite a bit easier in the future. At least I hope so. All right, just get your finger tight on there. And now I have to remember which one goes where. All right, we're gonna get started with the hot input lead, which is this guy here. And we'll get them soldered in. Uh, no, it moved. I moved. I moved it. I bumped it. Is what I did. My bad. That should be better. Now we're solid. Okay, so how did I figure out which one? Well, I just follow the track. So this track here, that is our going to pin one. So that is our main input. So cut that guy about there. Strip off a little. Ooh, that didn't go well. There should still be enough there to solder. Oh, yeah. Plenty. Just got to position it. Get it in place there. Probably going to need one of my little soldering helpers. That's the way I'll do this. Just solder this pad first. I'm not really worried about the the wire then I bring the wire in like that oh. come on there you go heat it up and then we hold it down with this it requires a little bit of dexterity but it's not hard okay that guy's in, now we gotta do the negative. So the negative goes directly to the ground plane. No problem there. I'm going to just put a little, little hook on the end there. So that when I thread these through, they will theoretically stay where I put them and I say theoretically because nothing ever does exactly what I want it to all right so a lot of you guys have asked me what I think about you know the Steelers not making the playoffs and all that it happens you know haven't been a great team but we beat the Browns in the final game which could be the Steelers Super Bowl every year there we go so now we'll do the same thing here I mean, this isn't a 
super fantastic footprint for this job, but it'll be fine. That is the biggest problem I have with this kind of work, is actually finding compatible footprints. Oh boy, you're going to be difficult, huh? Okay. We have ways of dealing with you. All right. Okay. So, power switch next. That'll be an easy one. Maybe. Maybe we need a little bit of uh, you know, the old blue tech. That'll hold her. Ow! Oh, piece of metal in my blue tech. That's no good. Nobody wants that. You must keep your blue tack pristine. I just broke my joint there. We'll come back to it. See, I was trying to add a little humor, a little fun. And uh, it didn't work out for me. As is usually the case. So it's like 50 degrees today. It has been warm as can be ever since, uh, what was this, uh, that storm Elliot right before Christmas that, you know, froze the, the Western world. Okay, get in there. Come on, get in there and stay in there. Oh, man, you're... Okay. You went, didn't you? All right, we'll live with that. Who's next? The LED. Okay. Do we have an LED? Yes. Yes, we do. in there we'll be done with this in no time I'd like to send a special shout out to my good friend down in Texas Dr. Quincy who for a while now has also been Professor Quincy alright next up <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. That was Blake calling me from college. He doesn't have any class until 6 o'clock tonight. And he was telling me there was nothing but dry eggs in the eatery. So he's going to go and do a meal swap at the market where he can use his... Um, Dining dollars, I think they're called, to get himself a sandwich. So that seems like a good plan to me. Now, this, on the other hand, is not working out as well as I had hoped. So this is going to take another redesign. Well, an adjustment. Do you see where the... Uh, the holes for the potentiometer are, they're too close. I just need to move them somewhere. Oh. I had hoped that the pot would have, you know, kind of fit in there, but, you know, they say, want in one hand, 
do something in the other and see which fills up first. Yep. That's the way it goes for me. Tweezers. Where's my tweezers? I need my tweezers. I won't do that anymore. Very sorry. Did we get you on there? Yeah, good. All right, who is next? Blue. Yeah, don't worry. I'm, I will be figuring a way to do this differently in the next version, but this is what we got to do for now. Did we get you? Yeah, good. Yeah. Get over there. So this is really about as far as we can go with this for today. I'm not even going to bother to waste this nice jack and solder it. So I will move this up for the next version. And we will go from there. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching and following along with my mental process. My mental disease. <laughs> if you enjoyed, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.